Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Morire Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Buhari leaving Nigeria far worse than he met it, Bishop Kuka. Governor Ipeazu sacks local government chairmen, councils, and councillors in Abia states. 133 million poor Nigerians, Serap sues Buhari over failure to probe spending on social intervention programs. Assassination attempt, Iyaru goes into hiding as police sets to declare governor's boy wanted. Government attacks southern Kaduna community again after mass burial. And on spot, which is on a sad note, death of another NPFL player or Denable devastating club owners declares. Now the news in details. Bishop of Sokoto Catholic Diocese Matthew Asen Kuka has again berated President Muhammadu Buhari regime for nepotism and corruption, saying the regime will leave Nigerians far more vulnerable than he met it. In his Christmas message on Sunday, Mr. Kuka said Mr. Buhari regime made lofty promises but could not deliver on them. It is sad that despite your lofty promises, you are leaving us far more vulnerable than when you came. That's the corruption we thought would be fought has become a leviton and sadly a consequence of a government marked by nepotism, the cleric said of Mr. Buhari. The fairy cleric further said, We know that you are elder now than you were before. We can see it in the spring in your steps, the thousands of miles you have continued to cover as you travel abroad. May God give you more years of good health. However, I also wish that millions of our citizens had a chance to enjoy ju just a fraction of your own health by a measurable improvement in the quality of health care in our country. Mr. Kuka has been consistent in his sketching criticism of Buhari regime. In response, many government agents and apologists have vilified him for his troubles. President Buhari's media assistant, Garba Shehu, labeled Mr. Kuka a Buhari eater in the aftermath of the cleric's strong weathered homily last Christmas. Moving on to the next story. Abia State Governor Oke Zie Ipeazu has dissolved all 17 elected local government chairmen, vice chairmen, and councillors in the state. This development was contained in a statement issued on Sunday by the governor's spokesman, Onyebuchi Ememake. The Nigerian voice learned that the governor sacked the local council officials following the expiration of their two-year tenure in office. Governor Ipeazu, who asked the dissolved officials to hand over local government properties in their custody to the head of service of their various councils, held them for their services and wished them well in their future endeavor. The statement read following the expiration of the tenure of the executive chairman of the 17 local government council, the governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezi Ipeazu, has approved their dissolution. The governor thanked them for their services and wished them well in their future endeavors. The governor further directed that they hand over to the head of service of the various local government councils. The dissolution takes immediate effect. To the next story. Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Sarah has filed a lawsuit against President Muhammad Buhari over the failure to thoroughly, effectively, and transparently investigate spending on all social safety nets and poverty alleviation programs and projects executed between 2015 and 2022. Joined in the suit as respondent is the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Aobokan Mali Misan. A recent report by the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, shows damning revolutions that some 133 million Nigerians are poor, despite the government reportedly spending 500 billion naira yearly on social investment programs, half of all poor people in the country are children. Serap is also asking the court to direct and compel President Buhari to ensure that suspected perpetrators of corruption and mismanagement of public funds meant to take care of the poor face persecution as appropriate and any stolen public funds are recovered. Serap is also arguing that investigating the allegations of corruption in the spending on social safety nets and poverty elevation programs and projects 
and recovering any stolen public funds would serve the public interest. According to Serap, the federal government has a legal responsibility to secure transparency and accountability in how public funds are spent to reduce vulnerability to corruption and mismanagement in the country. A strong indication has a man that the chairman of the Ogun State Park Management, OGS Pam, Akim Bodori, popularly known as Iyeru, has gone into hiding after he allegedly launched a assassination attempt on the state chairman of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, Akibu Titilokwe, aka Ifele. The attack occurred at the Arnold Itori Day, held in Ewekuru shortly after the state governor, Dapo Abiodun, left the venue. The police public relations officer in the state, SP Abimbola Oyeyemi, has disclosed that Iyeru might soon be declared wanted if he fails to report himself at the police state headquarters in Lewero over his role in the assassination attempt on the RTN chairman and others. Information gathered that, apart from a fellow who had 30 bullet light in his body, five other members who accompanied him received various degrees of injuries from the gun and machete attacks. Information still gathered that gun was fired directly at Titi Lyo, who escaped it by whiskers. Speaking on the police reaction to the violence, Oyemi described Ogo State as one of the most peaceful states in the country. He said, so I don't know why some hoodlums would gather themselves to turn to states into pandemonium, and that would not be acceptable. Not quite long of the departure of the governor of the state, the hoodlums launched an attack and we gathered some people were injured. Those who were injured had not made themselves available to us at the divisional headquarters at Itori. Going on to the next story from Kaduna States. Gunmen have again attacked Kagaro in Manangu Kagaro, Kaura local government area of Kaduna State. Information report that the southern Kaduna community was attacked again Friday night, a day after the mass burial of those killed earlier. The attack was carried out between the hours of 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. by gunmen who started shooting sporadically. A source who spoke to Daily Paul stated that the gunmen came in the large numbers, fully armed. He added, while the gunmen were shooting sporadically and people were running for their safety, the timely intervention of the military saved the situation and no life was lost. The state police public relations officer, DSP Mohamed Jadige, could not be reached as at the time of filing this report. And finally, on sports. The sudden death of yet another MPFL star player, Ebuka Odenobo, barely 48 hours after the loss of striker Chinedu Udechuku, has been described as a devastating blow to the football fraternity in Nigeria. The Football Club Owners Association of Nigeria, while reacting to the death of the former Kano Pillars player, it is indeed saddening and devastating. The young Odenobo, who had played for four seasons with Kano Pillars FC, was said to have died in Makredi after a brief illness. The association, in a statement jointly signed by the chairman, Chief Barrister Isaac Danladi, and the executive secretary, Chief Aloy Chukwemeka, and joined all the football stakeholders to pray fervently as we approach the commencement of new soccer season. Club owners condoled with his immediate family, his colleagues and friends over his death and prayed for the repose of his soul. That ends the national news this hour from BGI TV. Before we go, some major headlines. Buhari leaving Nigeria far worse than he met it, Bishop Kuka. Governor Ikweazu sacks local government chairman, councillors in Abia states. We also brought to you 133 million poor Nigerians. Sarah sues Buhari over failure to probe spending on social intervention programs. And lastly, death of another MPFL player. Or Denbo, devastating club owners cries out. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Baba by Gede Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access all of our broadcasts on Facebook by Gede Imo with Alawi and Divayo. Please like and follow the page on Instagram by Gede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Moriwe Rebila Lawal. Happy Boxing Day to all faithful Christians all around the world and Merry Xmas as we celebrated yesterday. May the Lord grant us many prosperous 
celebrations and making the next year a very brilliant one for every one of us. Good afternoon. Audio jump. Audio jump.